Hello everybody, it's me again and this time with the control wizard build. This is the first character I ever made and definitely my favorite one. So I'm going to be showing you all power, speed, spoons, companions, mounts and the rest of the setup. So I'm going to start with the items I use and for the headpiece I'm using a corona because it's the best item in slot. For the chest piece, I'm using the primal chest piece with power, critical, strike, and defense. For the gloves, I got myself the new gloves from Omu Hunts. Job Reaper gloves for 3% more damage for your encounter powers. For the boots, I got myself the boots from the Mastercraft. It has exactly the same bonus as Rex Corona, just with critical strike. The reason why I'm using these boots is because of 100% critical chance. Uh, I need the critical strike to, to reach the 100%. Now for the waist and neck, I'm using the neck from Stronghold Wonder with intelligence and strength. And I'm using the belt of Owl there because of 4%, 4 points of intelligence. I have already 100% critical chance from other sources, so I don't need the, the items with intelligence and charisma. So for the, for the shirt, I'm using the primal shirt from the campaign store for the 3% more damage for your daily powers. Now for the rings, I'm using one ring from the Omo Weekly for the 2% more damage and another ring from maps for the 800 power. Now for my weapon enchantment I use Fae. Well you can also try to use Warpal or Dread but I personally I think what Fae is the best and I like it the most. And for the armor I'm using Bark Shield because it helps you to survive and control wizard is quite a squishy class and this enchantment helps you to, to handle at least first uh, first couple hits. Now for the artifacts I have three different artifacts and I feel uh, I switch them occasionally. In dungeons on mobs I'm using wheel of elements and on bosses I'm using soul sight crystal. Uh, for dailies and, and grinding through the, the weeklies and other quests, I'm using this sigil of Devoted. The rest of my artifacts is just for stats, and I'm using all the, the, the biggest stats loop, and I'm just using sigil of Controller because uh, of the critical strike. Now for the enchantments in, in my offense slots, I'm using Brutals. And defense slots I'm using Draconic because of triple stats and the HP in it. The reason why I'm stacking up some HP is because of the Paladin Aura. So I guess that would be it for items for now. I will head to, to my companions. For the main companion I'm using the Cold Tiger. And the items on companion I use, I use the plus five dinosaur wing from the first jungle hunt. I'm using the neck piece from the skirmish. And as you can see in all offensive slots, I have slotted the black eyes enchantments <clears throat> because it has a higher power loop. And I stopped using the spell twisting, so I need some some sort of recovery. For the last ring I'm using the ring from from the Mastercraft. For the rest of companions I'm using the Fire Archon, the Earth Archon and Air Archon. And from the last companion I'm using the Siege Master. 
Now for the mount insignias bonuses, I'm using the Cowboy's Warning. Artifacts Persuasion. Because of the same reasons to, to stack up some recovery, because I stopped using the spell twisting, so I, I needed to recharge the skills faster. Protectors come under here. Assassin's Covenant. And Combat and Maneuver. To trigger this insignia bonus, you, you need to use one of your at wills before, before the combat. And that would be Ray of Frost. That's the skill what, what triggers the insignia bonus. Now for my boons, I, I don't think I have to talk much, so I'm just going to show all you old boons for you and, and take a moment so you could set them up. Just for stronghold boon I'm using the power one and for defensive one I'm using hit points but sometimes I switch to lifesteal when I'm doing dailies. The hit point one is, is great just if you have the paladin in your party. I'm using the mount speed just in cradle I always switch to to revive sickness in case somebody revives you before you use the scroll it's it's always good to to have the sickness removed quicker so now for the rest of the boons i'm just going to, to show them Now for the feats, this is a, before I used to, to be the mainly Tama build, but I recently I switched to, to the Oppressor. All these feats are, are mainly my choice and I don't see any other options to make it any better. Oh no, about the mount combat power. I'm using the tensor for 10% power and the rest of of those stats and for the equip power I'm using the black eyes horse and, and 4000 uh, power now for the the powers I use first the passive so I'm using the chilling percent and storm spell after all those changes of uh, mod 13, many people said what well, the storm spell got nerfed and, and whatnot, but I still find it as the best option to use. It's not as bad as everybody says. Now the skills I use for, for mobs, I'm using the icy terrain, sudden storm, and the singer rate. but you can also switch to the skill to to the steel time I just don't like using it steel time because it has really slow animation 
and I don't really like scale switch which has slow animations. For that wheels I'm using the chilling cloud and the ray of frost. The reason why I use the ray of frost as I said before because it triggers the insignia bonus. So I just use it once every 10 seconds to trigger the bonus and that's it. Now for the single target skills, oh, I didn't say, I'm using the Conduct of Ice in, in tab. That's for mobs or bosses, it's always slotted. For bosses, um, if, if there is no mob in a party, I'm using the Ray of Femblant. Instead of the Icy Terrain. The rest I keep exactly the same. For the dailies I'm using the oppressive force for the mobs and mass groups of, of mobs and whatever not. And for the single targets I'm using Icina. So that would be it for skills, I guess, and I'm going to, to show you my stats right now and the way it looks in combat. All these stats are without potions. It's just pure stats what... Heart is really laggy today. Not like every day. So now everybody who don't have a high item level, I would suggest to, to slot some sort of Azures and offense slots to read the, to reach the hundred percent of critical chance. Because that's really important for your DPS. The power you can always get from DCs in a party and the paladins so that's not a priority your priority is to always get 100% critical chance for the most damage output and for now what I'm using the artifact powers so I'm using for the weapon the chilling cloud one 60% 60, 60 chance to apply stack of chill to nearby targets on all casts of chilling cloud and for offhand I'm using strong spell of course So I guess that would be it if you if you have any questions you can always ask in the comment tab and before I finish, I would like to thank to all my friends and everybody who supports me. I'm really grateful for that and I love you guys. And thank you for watching and bye-bye.